So we answer these questions with negative angles no differently than when it's positive angles. The only difference is the numbering of the cast diagram. So in our cast diagram, I'm out of space, I'm going to have to draw small. Here's my cast diagram. And now I just number in the clockwise direction. So that is negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees. This is still negative in that direction and positive in this direction. 270 degrees negative and this would be 360 degrees. This would be on the positive side of negative uh, 360. Sorry, that's negative 360 on the positive side and this is the negative side of uh, 360. So in which quadrant does the angle 105 degrees lie? So negative 105 degrees. So that is smaller than nine, negative 90 and it is larger than negative 180. So it's in the third quadrant. Okay, third or Q3. In this quadrant, the output of the sine function, okay, only tan is positive in this quadrant, so the output of the sine function is negative. What is the angle that 105 degree makes with the x-axis? So if I were to draw it negative 105, I mean, if this was negative 105 degrees, what angle would it make there with the x-axis? Well, if I wanted to get to a negative 180, I'm going to have to subtract another 75 degrees. So this angle is 75 degrees. 75 degrees. Okay? So what angle does it make 75 degrees? Not negative 75. We, we want the positive angle. We want to know what is that positive angle it makes. So we are measuring it in that direction. Okay, and then it says simplify the trigonometric ratio so that the interior angle is positive and acute. So what we have is we can see that 105 can be written as negative 180 degrees minus 75 degrees to get to, or sorry, not minus, plus, plus 75 degrees to get to negative 105 degrees and this, again, is in the fourth qu uh, third quadrant where sine is negative, so we have to multiply with negative sine of 75 degrees. And there we go.